uh, cool functionality in Fusion 360 that I just started playing with and it's become uh, pretty useful. So for a little feedback, I have a whole bunch of these metric screws. I want to throw them in these various gridfinity buckets. And as you can see in this picture, I started up top by just writing labels on. They don't look great. I found some labels online that existed, but they don't have all of the various sizes that I need. So like down here, this 20, there's no 25. I think there was one missing up here, which is awkward. Um, and then, so what I did is I started just using Fusion 360 and created my own uh, designs, which is that what this is. But it was a little tedious. Uh, I had to go through, change the text, export it, import it into the 3D printing thing, print it out, etc. Um, so what got me thinking is the add-ons in Fusion 360 are just scripts. Um, you can write scripts to perform some certain actions for you. So what I did is I just created this basic label and then uh, here is a very basic script that just asks, hey, what do I want to make? What diameter? What lengths do I want to make separated by a space? And then it just goes through, updates the text, and exports everything automatically for me just using that script. So for an example, I can come in here, I can choose the script. It's going to say, hey, where do I want to put it? I'm going to put them in here. What size? Um, I have most of them already, so let's just do M6 example and then I can just enter in what sizes I have so I have 8 millimeter length 10 12 20 25 and hit done doesn't look like it did anything but behind the scenes it's running that script and then if you come over and see in here now you can see that it just added all of those sizes plus two other ones that I have in the script for the nuts and the washers and these are exported STL files that I can then just come in here and uh, drag them on over and now I have all of those labels in here, you can see for the M6 ones, all the sizes that I did. Uh, and this is just really convenient because now if I want to make a change to these labels, I want to, maybe I want to make this line. The line indicates a length. That's just a quick indication of how how long it is for me to, looking in the drawer. Uh, but maybe I want to make that a little more fancy or I want to change the font. I don't have to go through and export all of these again. I can just do that for each size, what I just did, and that took, I don't know, what, 15 seconds. Uh, export them all and then I effectively just get a giant plate full of these and then when they're printed they look like this and all these labels will just be kind of uh, probably glued onto those bins and now I have access to them any size if I get a new size one I can just come in here again generate it export it and print it and we're done so those fusion 360 scripts um, I think will come in handy now that I have a, a grasp of how they work um, I think I could start using these for a lot of things that would be generated that would take a while, even containers, right? Like the Gridfinity, there's um, a, a Fusion 360 file that I have already that will, you can tell it how big of a Gridfinity container you want. You want it one by two, two by four, etc., and then export it. I could just generate every combination now with the script and export it, um, and I would just have them all. So if I made a change to that model, I can then just run the script again and it generates all of them for me. So the scripts are very cool, very useful. I'm gonna post this up on, on GitHub if anyone wants to take a look at it. There's probably a lot you could do to this to clean it up. Um, and then I'll probably put these labels up because they'll probably be useful to somebody else on printables or Thingiverse. Um, but cool, yeah. Let me know your thoughts on uh, Fusion 360 scripts.